People who sign up for overdraft protection from their bank are more likely to pay fees than those who don't. That's because overdraft protection means the opposite of what it sounds like. Banks aren't protecting your money, they're protecting your pride, and they're charging you for it. Say you stop for a cup of coffee, but you've only got 40 cents in your checking account. Overdraft protection makes sure the guy at the register doesn't know that you can't afford that cup of coffee. But the bank takes $35 in return. No, don't, don't get it. It's already gone. This is a good cup of coffee though, right? Confused? Don't worry, you're not alone. Polling shows that overdraft protection is poorly understood. And so reformers are asking the government to make some changes, including requiring greater transparency and putting limits on the fees that banks can charge for these short-term loans. Under the current system, America's three biggest banks brought in $1.1 billion from overdraft fees alone in the first three months of 2015. They're on track to net $4.5 billion from the fees this year. That's almost $20 for every American adult. Now, isn't that something? More than a third of the food produced worldwide is wasted each year. That's some 1.3 billion tons of food. 